Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet Channel. Today we're going to show you a simple but delicious dish you can make anywhere. Y'all stay tuned. starting to cool off a little bit here in Florida it's been a long time coming I tell you that uh, and that's got my hunting blood stirring so uh, hunting seasons open here uh, my brother just got one um, last week you know uh, or tree muzzleloader I don't know he does them all I, I go general gun maybe a couple times a year I'm not huge into deer hunting hopefully this year we can do a little duck hunting so I, I know we got a lot of new subscribers and a lot of people that are new to Dutch oven and cast iron cooking so Today I thought we would uh, throttle back a bit and show you a nice, delicious, basic meal that you can make anywhere. Uh, we do this uh, when we go uh, go hunting to the hunting camp because it doesn't take a lot of time. You can actually uh, start it out and before you go out in the afternoon and come back and it's perfect every time. So simple, easy, but you could use this uh, hiking, camping, whatever you're doing, uh, even on hey, a day so trip. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prepare ahead of time to make this a lot easier when you get to camp. We got our uh, Dutch oven tote bag here. This is our Bass Pro Shop one. And um, I did a, a little video on this a while back, did a little review of it. And uh, so far, very few people have watched that. But anyway, this is uh, one of the strengths of this bag. You can keep everything right in this bag. In here I got my lid lifter and uh, my serving spoon, my big serving spoon. You're gonna need that uh, right on top. And inside, we're going to have everything, all the ingredients that we need other than our meat, which will obviously be in our cooler, right next to our cold beer. But everything else we're going to need that's non-perishable is right inside this Dutch oven. So I'll take the lid off here and we'll go through the items that I've packed for this particular dish. So first thing we got is uh, one medium sweet onion. We have uh, five uh, potatoes. Two cloves, of, two cloves of garlic, and those are not peeled yet, so you know those will be fine in there. Uh, some seasoning, which you know our favorite, some little swamp seasoning. Can of cream of mushroom soup. Told you it's going to be basic, and a small package of olive oil. Okay, so you can put that in a Ziploc bag, use a little small spice bottle, or just bring a very small bottle of oil. You got plenty of room in here to keep all these things inside till you get to camp and then when you're ready to cook all you got to do is unzip the bag and everything is right where you need it and it's it does have enough room you know to close up a little extra stuff I've even taken a skillet you know an extra skillet turn it upside down on top of the oven and I uh, put that right in there so there you go that's how you prep for the dish we're gonna do if you're going to camp or camping or day tripping, backpacking, and you want to make something really great. So our meat item today is going to be four chicken thighs, and I have those marinating in some uh, nice marinade. I'm using mojo. Use whatever you like. Uh, there's tons of great marinades around. But anyway, we put that inside of a gallon Ziploc bag. Just going to lay that on the ice uh, right in your cooler. Uh, you can prepare those the night before. But of course, the longer you marinate them, the more that marinade is going to get in there. So we're going to keep that in a cool place until we're ready to get started. And we've got our charcoal ready, getting ready right now. Uh, today we're using a chimney starter, and we're going to do it on charcoal. But, you know, if you're out of deer camp most time, I've never been to a deer camp didn't have a campfire. Uh, unless you're going into some of the state forests or some place like that, don't let you have it. So at any rate, if you got if you got room, always bring your chimney starter with your charcoal. I usually I'll uh, take a half a bag of charcoal, throw my chimney back chimney starter in the bag, and just roll that up in there. Makes it a whole lot easier to light. Okay, but if you got a campfire, just get you a good bed of coals going, and I'll uh, make sure you got something to handle with, uh, like a shovel, and uh, it works just as well or even better, I think. One of the things I forgot to tell you about, you can pick up these little uh, flexible cutting mats. 
at Walmart for like, I mean, you get four of them for like $2.88. It's a good idea. You can roll these up. I usually just toss them in the cooler because the cooler is going to be nice and clean. Throw it right in the cooler. It takes up no room. You move it down the bottom. And, uh, or you can roll them up, you know, you roll them up like that. You can stuff them up here in your bag. That's just going to give you a clean surface if you, uh, if you need it where you're going. So, uh, after we're at camp, we're just going to unpack everything and, uh, you know, get everything out. And uh, we need to get everything out of our Dutch oven so that we can go ahead and start uh, getting it hot. So, it's nice to have everything right here. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to pack it all separately. you got this huge container here to put it in and, uh, you know, it doesn't make any sense not to do it. So... First thing we're going to do with our uh, oven here is we're going to go ahead and pour just a little bit of our oil in it because our uh, our fire is almost ready. Okay, our coals are uh, are ready. And to begin with, we want to sear our chicken. And I know I always put the camera on the wrong side and block you guys with my arm. But to get it going, first of all, we're just going to dump all of our coals into one pile. Stick the Dutch oven right on top. That'll let it get hot fast and save you a lot of time. So with all our coals on the bottom, it didn't take long for that oil to get all nice and shimmery. So we want to start laying our chicken thighs in there, the skin side down. Just kind of draining off the excess marinade. <laughs> got it going a little bit we're just going to go ahead and hit them with a little seasoning on uh, the upside we'll flip them over season them on the other side so while our uh, chicken is getting a little color on it we're going to go ahead and get the rest of our veg ready and when I'm just pulling out my good old uh, hunting knife here, which is what you're going to have at camp, uh, if you want to bring a regular uh, knife, go ahead. This knife here has been a, a good one, even though know, it's kind of a cheap one. Um, you know, I put a good edge on it, and, and it's got the hook for uh, skinning a deer, so and it works pretty good for cooking, too. So we're not going to go crazy with these. We're just going to kind of roughly chop our onion. potatoes we're gonna cut them in pretty big chunks kind of got a little bad spot on him we're gonna go ahead and cut that off so I mean pretty decent sized chunks like that got a little bit brown on both sides we got a little bit of fond on the bottom of the pot now we're gonna go ahead and add about oh a cup of water and just kind of gently stir that around and here's where all the true Dutch oven guys are gonna holler at me for using the metal tool and you know the reason I got cast iron is so I can use a metal tool this pot does not have a mirror glaze finish on it I don't make eggs in it Okay, this is a camp stove. We use this thing 
constantly and it's constantly reseasoned. Okay, but you want to kind of get in there with a, just enough effort to kind of loosen up any of the bits that are on the bottom. And you'll see that kind of a broth already developing there. And it's a nice color. That's because we put a little color on that skin before we started this, which is the braise. And right now we're just going to take our nice little flexi mat there we had. And uh, I lost one potato, but we'll get him back and wash him off. Just dump them all right in there. It couldn't be any simpler. Kind of makes sure your onions and potatoes are evenly distributed as well as your chicken. Just have a little space between them so everything gets a little flavor. And here's another place where you could put any kind of herbs. You know, like I said, this is a basic dish that we're doing uh, just for, you know, showing you the basics. So now that we just put them coals on the top, now go get your rifle or your shotgun, head out to the tree stand, come back, it's going to be perfect. Just let it burn out. Well, I can remember the time when, you know, my parents, we go uh, with my parents when I was a kid, we go picnicking. And when we go picnicking, we, you know, we went out to some place where they had one of those, you know, those nice little steel grills with the flip-up deal on the top. It was always cruddy. It was always full of somebody else's old charcoal. Those actually work great for Dutch ovens. You know, just be prepared to bring you something to clean that out with. And, uh, you know, it blocks the wind. It's nice and, uh, you know, steel. It's not going to hurt anything. And you flip that top up, you know, the top of that uh, camp, you know, regular old uh, campground grill, I call them. You, you know when the ones I got, you know, what I'm talking about. The ones that sit on a steel pole, they're a little box and got a grill on top. Pretty much standard all around America. Um, <clears throat> and we'd actually cook something on it. You know, it might be hamburgers, it might be chicken, it might be hot dogs. Uh, depending on what the deal was. But now, we go out to places like that, and people consider picnic and bringing their McDonald's bag out there. Uh, sitting on a picnic table and eating McDonald's. All right, that ain't no damn picnic. Lately, I've even noticed uh, some people getting lazy at hunting camp too. Uh, back when I was a young man, you know, and teenager into young man, we used to go to hunting camp. I loved it because all the women from, you know, the camp would, they, while the men were out hunting every day, they would be back in their you know, cooking all these great dishes. So when you came in out of the woods, uh, dinner was ready. It was always something awesome. And there were, you know, people around, dogs. And, 
you know, it was nice and cool. It was a great, great experience. Great, great experience. That's one reason why I'm trying to, you know, pass down this little bit of information of how simple it is to make a great meal. And once you started doing it and your buddies all see that you can cook something decent uh, out in the woods, they're going to want to learn how to do it too. All right, guys. Like I said, you don't have to worry about overcooking this. Just kind of let it go till it burns out. But it looks about perfect to me. I'll go ahead and just give it a little stir. Check the potatoes. They're perfect. Okay. So time a server up. So if you're a subscriber to Backwoods Gourmet, you know you know that we usually do something pretty fancy for our uh, presentation. But again, this is going to be uh, camping, backpacking hunting camp food um, so we're going to serve it up just like you would do it out in the woods or out your campsite just right in a good old paper bowl plastic fork and a napkin it's going to be awesome just check that out those ten those potatoes are perfectly tender and we just kind of you know cut those up into the gravy the chicken is just Roll off the bone. Look at that. Awesome. Some of you new guys and newbies to uh, my channel and newbies to cast iron cooking will give this one a shot. the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right over there. To see our last video, check it out right up here. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, see it right up here. We'll see you next time.